We have a question in the mailbag from Ahmed. He wants to know, where do the ham radio terms CQ and 73 come from? Ahmed, both those terms go way back to the Morse code days, and we're talking the 1860s. To keep messages short, they agreed on a set of pro signs, which were basically emojis for their day, shortcuts for common messages. Two important ones were, I'm calling you and goodbye. For I'm calling you or I seek you, they merge the letters C and Q together like CQ. It sounds like this. For goodbye, 73 was chosen because it's a bit of a Morse code palindrome. Give it a listen. Ahmed, hams use those terms every day as shorthand in both their Morse code and voice communications. You don't need to learn Morse code to get a ham radio license, but there's still a lot of hams using it. Learn more about getting your license at hamradioprep.com.